Hi guys, Josh here, aka Beards and Brooks. Today I'm doing part two of the Goodreads Ranks My TBR series. Hope you enjoy. So guys, hopefully you've seen part one to this video. So as I mentioned, I've recently put all of my books onto Goodreads, which I'm starting to use more and more. And what I wanted to do was look at how my TBR ranks against other books that have been rated. So I did part one of this video, which was the most popular books, the top five books according to Goodreads. And what I'm going to do for you now is the bottom five. I'm not doing this on star rating because the problem was everything was either Harry Potter or, you know, Stephen King, something like that at the top. And then at the bottom, it was just the lesser known books. Um, so what I'm doing it on is actually amount of rating. So how many times people have actually made the effort to go in and review a book? Now, I don't know if I'm surprised by this, but most of the books towards the bottom of my TBR with the lowest ratings are actually thrillers. First up on that scale is The Locker by Adrian Magson. I believe that's how you say it, Adrian Magson. So, as I mentioned, this is a thriller. So, it's about a lady who goes to the gym. She has a set routine. She, you know, trains at the same sort of time, same sort of length every day. One day, she goes back to her locker at the end of her session. She grabs her phone and she has a message saying that her daughter has been kidnapped and she has so long to get home. Now, this actually sounds like quite quite an interesting series, oh, sorry, an interesting story, but it's only been reviewed 115 times, 115 times on Goodreads, and this is, I don't think it's too new, I, I might be wrong, but 115 times for a published thriller seems really low. It is only rated 3.65, so maybe the fact that it's got a relatively low rating has put people off, and let's face it, with thrillers, they really can be hit and miss. If you start to work out the story too early thrillers can get pretty boring so maybe that's the case of what this is this is one i will try and read relatively soon in all honesty these five books are ones i will probably try and read relatively soon but i don't know if this will be first next up with 152 ratings rated at 3.69 is the drowning ground by james marison from what i gather from looking at the drowning ground this is a it's a police detective thriller essentially so police are called to the scene of a murder where a guy has had a pitchfork impaled through him uh, and the detective that arrives on the scene actually knows the person that's been affected and murdered through their past history and it's the story of how this detective tries to work out the murder now as i mentioned again this is only at 152 reviews so it seems really low but if you watched my top five video for the books that are in the top five of my tbr they're not even ones I want to read. I'd, I'd rather read some of these. This is one, again, I will choose. At some point, I'm going to have a thriller month, so I'm just going to try and get through as many thrillers as possible. But if you've read this one, let me know down in the comments. Next up is The Truth by Peter James. Now, this has 732 reviews and is rated at 3.73. 3.73. Again, this is another thriller. Seems to be the theme at the moment. This story is about a couple that are running down on their luck. Financially, they're really starting to struggle. And a wealthy businessman that they know makes an offer to give them money, essentially. What he wants at the time isn't explained. And from what I gather, it's a story of essentially how he tries to take control of their life. I don't know too much about this one. With thrillers and books in general, I try to go in relatively blind. But essentially, it sounds like they are lent money and they are then blackmailed to do what and if this businessman wants. Which sounds like an interesting concept. This one is, I think this is a 20th anniversary edition. Um, but this... Over 19 million copies sold, according to this book, yet has only been reviewed 732 times on Goodreads. What's going on? Next up, The Seven Princes. Now, I'm probably going to butcher this name, but it's John R. Flutes. I can't even say it. Flutes. 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 Right, so Seven Princes is a, a fantasy style book. So the blurb doesn't give away too much. Essentially, a king is holding court. A bad magician comes in and kills the whole court. And essentially tries to take over. I try not to go in knowing too much when it comes to fantasy. Same as any series. It sounds like my kind of thing, in all honesty. It's part of a series which is called The Book of the Shaper. It's had 599 reviews and it's only rated at 3.14 stars. Now, that's quite a low rating to be fair, so maybe that's why more people haven't reviewed this one. If you have, let me know down in the comments. It's one I'm interested in reading. I'm a big fantasy fan and I like to try something that I haven't heard much of before or seen much of. So I'm definitely interested, but let me know. Is it worth my time? Next up, with just over 1,100 reviews, is The Crystal Skull by Amanda Scott. Now, most people will know the story of 2012, because there was a film made not too long ago, I think it was a couple of years ago. It was just standard kind of cheesy action film. The story of the Mayans and how they predicted the end of the world at 2012, luckily, did not come true. But it's a story that I've been interested in reading. I picked up this book quite a while ago from my local charity shop. It's been sitting on my shelves. Knowing that it's only had 1,000... 
130 reviews does make me a bit nervous, but I don't know. This one's only rated 3.22 stars. So again, it is rated quite low, which is probably part of the reason why it hasn't had more reviews. But given that the film was quite popular, or it was at least, you know, it was quite mainstream. It wasn't exactly a B movie. I am surprised that more people haven't picked up this book. It's one I will read at some point, purely because it's quite a unique storyline. There hasn't been many like it, so it is one that I will try. But if you've read it already, let me know. So guys, those are the five books that are bottom of my TBR according to how many times they've been reviewed. I will look to do more videos like this with good reads. A lot of people seem to enjoy these and I've definitely had a lot of comments from it. So if you have any suggestions on similar videos I could do, definitely let me know down in the comments. Now I've done the top five and the bottom five. Until I add loads more books, I'm not too sure how else I can carry this series on, but I will have a good think about it. Guys, that's everything for me. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. As always, please remember to like, comment and subscribe if you have. Meet me down in the comments. I will leave links to my social media as well. So if you want to speak to me more about beards, books, all this good stuff, make sure you do. Speak to you soon.